And good morning and welcome to the Jack Harper Memorial Field where today we have the Junior Cup Final between Pembroke and Balbriggan. The start has been delayed 45 minutes due to some early morning rain but we're delighted to actually see that the rain has abated and match is now going to get underway 20 overs aside. For those who don't know the Junior Cup is for the age group up to second class and this game is a refix from the first one which fell, fell, fell foul to the Irish weather. Opening the bowling for Balbriggan be Jesse Marcus. And the Pembroke opening batsmen are Dan Murray and Ethan Clark. The umpires today are Martin Mackey and Shankar. So it's Jesse Marcus from the Hugh Riley end bowling to Dan Murray. And play is underway. Jesse comes in. Balls short, played on the leg side, no run. Marcus in again, bowls down the leg side and signalled wide by Martin Mackey. A quick single, shy at the stumps, one wide ball and one run. Marcus today bowling left arm over the wicket, a change from his usual uh, delivery action, one that he's more comfortable with. He comes in to bowl, played on the leg side and that's a quick single. Ground conditions not ideal, the heavy early morning rain has left a little bit of moisture on the outfield but credit to both sets of teams, coaches and umpires that the game is underway and hopefully we will get a full game in and a result. Marcus Bowles pushed on the outside through the covers there for another single. Clark now taking strike. Marcus Bowles beats him outside the off stump. A great take there by Balbriggan wicket keeper Izzy McLean. Absolutely fantastic to see uh, young girls playing at this age level. And that's a testament to the growth in Balbriggan Cricket Club, really starting to develop their ladies section. Haven't got a team yet, but hopefully next year they'll be entering quite a few age group teams, a huge progress for this Fingal club. Marcus in again, bowls short, played on the offside defensively, no run. Very good start here by Marcus, very tight opening over. Thank you. 
Marcus Bowles, oh, beats outside the off stump, through past the keeper for a bye. Leg bye, in fact. So at the end of the first over, that's five runs for no wickets. Unfortunately, our live scoring uh, system isn't fully operational this morning, so we will try and uh, post the score at the end of each over on the live feed. Opening the bowling for Balbriggan from the Franco Gilday end is Hassan. Very tall, slimline bowler. One who's starting to make his way in the thirds for the men's team. So he comes in, bowls full length down the leg side, no run. The sand bowls, little bit of an edge there uh, outside the off stump. Uh, a single. Very tight start here from the uh, Balbriggan bowlers. Uh, I believe in the first game, Pembroke uh, actually totaled uh, over 120, which is great going for this level. I think a score round about the 120 mark will be par due to the wet conditions this morning. Hassan bowls full and straight. Big shout for LBW, but turned down by umpire Mackey. And run signaled, so not surprisingly there, the appeal was turned down. Sand runs in off his long run. Bowls full and straight, and he's bowled him. Clean bowled. The first breakthrough for Balbriggan. Uh, very well bowled there by Hassan. Always very disappointing to get out early in the uh, cup final, but there's still a long way to go yet. So Pembroke can definitely uh, make a very strong recovery. New batsman coming in is Bruce Wally. Very diminutive uh, fellow, but uh, comes from a very strong family pedigree here. While he's very much uh, stalwarts of the Pembroke club at the senior level. Big appeal there by Hassan, but again, no run. Sam bowls while he plays and misses outside the off stump, a dot ball. And that's the end of the second over. Pembroke now are seven for the loss of one wicket after two overs. Very tight start by the Balbriggan bowlers in very much bowler friendly conditions.
Marcus now comes in, bowls to Murray, beats him outside the off stump. Ball definitely skidding through on the artificial wicket. The early morning rain certainly quickened up uh, what is a very good artificial track. Just going to take a little while for the Pembroke players to adjust to that ball skidding through. Very much a day for being on the front foot. Marcus comes into bowl. Short, defensively played on the outside, on the onside. Thinks about a single, but decides not to. Marcus runs in, bowls full down the leg side, played away for just a single, I think about the second, but the ball is fielded by Brian Dunphy and well taken there by Izzy. Marcus in again, bowls full, big attempted drive outside the off stump by Wally, no run. Murray comes down to have a quiet word there. I think the order of day is patience and rebuild after the loss of the early wicket. Very easy to say, but for the second class group uh, it's certainly a learning experience possibly in their first cup final played away nicely on the leg side to square by Wally for a single Marcus from the Hugh Riley end. Bowl short, that's Bouncer there. Not called a wide. Certainly very lively there from Marcus. And that brings the end of the third over with Pembroke, 10 for the loss of one wicket. So Hassan Shahid coming in for his second over from the Franco Gilday end. The son of the very uh, well renowned Shahid Iqbal, formerly of Rush, now of Balbriggan. Hassan comes in to bowl, full and straight while he plays it lovely on the leg side. Come for one, that's possibly, and it is the first boundary, an absolute glorious leg glance there by Wally. Kept the ball all the way along the ground and getting full value. Uh, very nice to see the ball running away freely there on the outfield. Certainly a lot quicker than I would have thought originally with the wet outfield, but that was a great shot. Certainly from what I can see already, a very talented young man. Hassan comes into bowl. Full straight, and that's a lovely cover drive. Misfielded there in the outfield, but perhaps, yeah, indeed, it's only a single. That was a fantastic shot, certainly well worthy of the family name. A 
the sand runs in again, this time to Dan Murray. Short, down the leg side, an appeal for a court behind, but turned down by umpire Mac. Oh, he's given him. Caught behind there by Marcus Murray. Not sure himself whether he hit it. Certainly doesn't think so. But the umpire has made the uh, decision. So Pembroke now 10 for 2. So that's the end of Murray. Next batsman in is Arshad Safi. Young Wally there coming off the field and uh, perhaps you can't see it off uh, on camera, but on camera he handed his mobile phone uh, to his father. You could say a schoolboy error but certainly he might save himself a few euros if he were to get hit there. So Ashad, the new batsman in, number four for Pembroke. And Hassan now with two wickets to his name, bowling very full and straight. That one a little bit short. Must have been a very fine tickle there for the umpire to judge that court behind. So Arshad taking his first ball, full and straight, and nicely defends that onto the onside and fielded by the bowler. Throws the ball to dry by uh, Tom Harford. Hassan comes in, bowls, full and straight. Bit of bounce and carry there, well taken by Izzy there behind the stumps. Very much a, uh, quite a large crowd here today of uh, parents, uh, supporters uh, from the local area. Certainly, perhaps you can't see it on camera, but there must be sort of in excess of 100 people here this morning. Hassan Shahid bowls short outside the off stump and no run. Uh, at the end of the fourth over, that takes the score on for 14 for two. It's Addy now. Yep. And a change of bowling now from the Hugh Riley end. Adi Wankidi. Very young bowler from Sri Lanka. Very much uh, new to the game. It's unbelievable. This is only his second season. Comes in, bowls right arm over. Balls hits the edge. Oh, just falls short there of the cover point. Very unlucky there, a great effort there by Jesse Marcus, but just falling short.
Addy comes in to bowl full down the leg side, tucked away there by Arshad for a single. I think the introduction of uh, Addy is testament to the, uh, the youth policy within the local community of Balbriggan Cricket Club. It's very much geared up to introducing cricket into the wider local community. And Addy is one of those players who just walked in two years ago, never having played the game. Bowls, hits on the offside by Wally. Brilliant, just beats Marcus. There's a single with, I think, about two. Wisely sends his partner back there. And Addy just walked in and has picked up the game in a little over two years and has already made representative honours with the Leinster age group side. And that's absolutely brilliant the way that the club is developing its strong youth infrastructure. Very brisk through his over here. Comes in, bowls short, down the leg side, well taken again by Izzy. Again, is he one of our younger junior members and also has made representative uh, honours this year for the Leinster Young Girls team. Adi down the leg side. Ashad tries to drive it into the Hyde Park pitch but just did not make a connection. Thankfully, at this level, there are no tight wides, so rules of cricket uh, wides are applicable. Full and straight, played onto the onside defensively there by Arshad, no run. And at the end of the fifth over, the score is 17 for two. No change here from the Franco Gulday end. Hassan still continuing into his third over. Wally taking strike. Hassan comes in to bowl. Full and straight, slightly down the leg side, no run. Again, another great take there by Izzy. Certainly she's impressing uh, your commentator here with her wiki keeping and you can easily see why she's in the Leinster age group side. Hassan, bowl slightly short on the back foot by Wally, a glorious back foot cover drive. Uh, but only the single well fielded there in the deep. Sand strides in, slightly short of a length, played into the covers there by Arshad. Oh, and a misfield there by Marquis, and that's the second boundary of the morning. A glorious cover drive, certainly worth the value of the four runs, although Marcus will be slightly disappointed uh, with the misfield there. And how can he come back from that four off the last ball? Bangs it in short and it's pulled away absolutely magnificently there by Asha. Back with a square for consecutive boundaries. Certainly a delivery that perhaps he'd be disappointed with there. Hassan bowling short down the leg side and was meat and drink there to Ashad. 
an absolute glorious pull there. Almost a hook for four down to fine leg. Sound he bowls. Oh, that's a full toss. It's called no ball by umpire Markey. So four no balls for a overhead height, over waist height uh, delivery there. Perhaps is a little bit uh, harsh there with the conditions. The ball maybe a little bit greasy there. Certainly no intent in that delivery. I think the ball just slipped out of his hands there. I think they need to be making sure that when they come in to deliver, the ball is dry and comfortable in the bowler's hands. Being dried there by Tom Hartford again. Bowlers should be taking their time just to make sure that everything is safe. Hassan now comes in, bowls short. Bit of bounce there and beats Ashad outside the off stump. No run. And Hassan has struck again, a beautiful full-length delivery, bowling Ashad. That's Hassan's third wicket of the morning. Uh, a very good comeback after two consecutive boundaries. Four no balls, but then he strikes, and the lesson there is just bowl the ball full and straight. New batsman coming in for Pembroke, William Beatty. So the score now with the fall of the third wicket, Pembroke are 30 for three after six overs. Uh, misses the ball, keeping a little bit low. So a very good start here from Balbriggan. Three Pembroke wickets already down. Addy comes in the ball again. Big shot there. Lovely cover drive through the extra by Bruce Wally. And that's a magnificent stroke, gathering full value in four runs. For such a diminutive player, that was played with immense power all the way along the ground, which is fantastic to see at such a young age. Gives the thumbs up to his own teammates there and supporters. Very confident young man and a brilliant shot. Absolutely fantastic extra cover drive. How can Adi bounce back from being driven for that four? He bowls again full while he goes hard, misses everybody well fielded there by Brian at third man. Just a single and a bye. William Beattie now taking strike for his first ball. Very tall fellow for such a young age. Balls, lovely shot there. Just pushed through the covers for a single. Addy comes into Wally, full straight he goes. It's gone in the air into the covers. It's a catch. 
Oh, it's been dropped by Hassan. Oh, my Lord. That was a sitter. Maybe the ball a uh, little bit damp and just slipped through his hands, but certainly one that's got away. Wally getting very impatient when he should be staying there with his technique and hit the ball along the ground. And he's certainly got a life there. The Balbrig will be very disappointed with that miss. Addy in again, BT just plays it into the extra cover, no run. That completes the end of the seventh over and the score is 37-4-3. I think it's very easy to uh, be a little bit critical of a drop catch, but what you have to remember is that the outfield here is still very, very damp and the ball is very, very slippy. So certainly not easy to hold on to the ball. Change of bowling here and the skipper, Fionn Bannister, brings himself uh, into the attack. Right arm uh, medium with a little bit of in swing. Replacing uh, Hassan there who has taken all three wickets here this morning. Fionn, the skipper of the side. Coming into bowl, right arm over. Full while he drives powerfully through mid on and a great bit of fielding there by Hassan saving what definitely could have been a boundary. <coughs> Slight field change here. For BT, obviously very powerful young man and long on and long off, a drop right back onto the boundary. Bannister balls down the leg side, clipped away there by BT for a single. Thinks about a second, but no run and a good throw in there by Barbrigan. Bruce Wiley now taking strike, rechecking his guard. Looks to me like centre. Maybe just needs to calm down a little bit and concentrate on his shot making. Bannister comes into ball. That's high, smashed away on the leg side. That's a glorious shot there by Wally. Four runs through square. Really dispatched that full toss with a plum. Absolutely fantastic. Hitting the wall there of the nearby church. Slight delay with a few spectators walking behind the bowler's arm. Play now underway again. Bannister comes into bowl. Full, that's a glorious on drive. Straight to Hassan who throws it back to the keeper. Ball hits the stumps, but no runs. Bannister in again to Wally. Full Wally smashes the ball to mid off, but no run. Very unlucky there. Very powerful shot again, but just found the player. So at the end of the eighth over, the score is 30, 43. 43 for three. So Pembroke rolling on here at just over five runs and over, and we're looking to accelerate against the Balbriggan change bowlers.
So from the Hugh Riley end, it's Adi Wankidi comes into bowl. Powerfully played backward of point there by BT. A great sliding stop, slightly off camera by uh, Jesse Marcus and two runs. Absolute great bit of fielding here, sliding and taking advantage of the wet conditions. Certainly saving another two runs. Fielding very important uh, at this level, indeed all levels uh, of the game. And Balbriggan already saved uh, seven runs with some great fielding with just the one blemish going for four. So very much still uh, positive in their fielding account. These runs could be vital at the end. Adi comes in again to BT, bowls outside the off stump, an appeal for court behind, but more enthusiastic than uh, actually getting an edge there. No decision was required by the umpire. He comes into ball right arm over, plays and misses there outside the off stump by BT, no run. Addy comes in again, bowls to BT, pushes the ball powerfully on the offside, thinks about a single, a shy by Marcus. Oh, a direct hit would have been very, very close. But in the end, the batsman was able to make his ground for no run. Nice bit of pressure there from Jesse fielding at uh, backward point. Addy coming in again to bowl from the uh, pushed away on the offside to cover point to Marcus again. A throw at the non-striker's end, but a very good uh, single. Great bit of run in there from BT and Wally, keeping the Balbriggan fielders on their toes. Slight bit of momentum now being built by Pembroke. Still keeping that five runs and over going. Addy comes into bowl, full straight, back foot. Oh, a quick single, but the ball has not been fielded cleanly there by Marcus. And in the end, a very easy single. Again, a very fine shot there by Wally. And that brings to the end of the ninth over, when the score is now 47-4-3. Pembroke still maintaining that five runs and over. Certainly they'll be looking for that 120 mark again and beyond. If these two young men can stay at the crease, certainly in excess of 120 is possible. But of course, in this competition, for those who don't know, players, once they reach the score of 25, have to retire. Bannister in again to Wally. Bowls, nice loop, clipped away on the leg side, down to fine leg by Wally. Think about the second, but he turns the second run down. BT quite easily makes his ground. Field goes back now to BT. Bannister into bowl. Outside the off stump. No, it's on the leg. Uh, no run. Very well fielded there by Izzy McLean, the, the keeper. Bannister in once again, 
Balls full, slightly down the leg side. Again, another great take there by McLean. And no run scored. Hassan Shahid drying the ball for his captain there, Bannister. Comes into bowl quickly, right arm over, full, driven powerfully by BT to mid off for a single, easily made in the end. Bannister wearing the 45, comes in, bowls short side the off stump while he dabs it there onto the offside just through cover point for an easy single. Certainly the sun now is trying to break through here at Balbriggan after a very miserable start uh, to the morning which delayed this fixture by some 45 minutes. But with the sun and the slight breeze out there, the outfield now is drying up quite rapidly. And I think we'll see the ball running away a lot faster, which may be an advantage to the side batting second. Bannister in again. BT plays it through mid-wicket there uh, just for the single. And at the end and the halfway stage, Pembroke have now progressed to 51-4-3 off the 10 overs of the 20 to be bowled. Once again, from the Hugh Riley end, we have Adi Wankidi, who comes in, bowls full, bit of a waft there by BT outside the off stump for no run. And a bit of confusion here uh the square leg umpire has given bt out the umpires are conferring can't quite tell what's actually happened here But that decision has been uh, revoked and BT is not out. Certainly they're very confusing there because I didn't hear an appeal here from the commentary box. So play continues. Adi bowling to BT. Bowls full outside the off stump. Maybe a little nick on it. And it's four. Boundary four. And that indeed has come off the bat. So another four runs there to BT. Addy comes in again to BT who powerfully strikes it through extra cover and that ball has really flown across the boundary for four runs. A fantastic cover drive there all the way along the ground. Very powerfully struck by BT, richly deserving the four runs. Certainly looks a very powerful player for this age group and you can see why Balbriggan have set the field deep to this player. Coming in again, 
ball and a lovely slower ball there. Really well bowled after being struck by a boundary. Uh, as they say, a good, very good comeback ball there, no run. Addy in again. Powerfully struck again, threw a bit on, but it's straight to the fielder. BT takes a quick single and easily makes it there. Certainly BT now looking to open his shoulders, playing almost a shot a ball there. This is a very good partnership here between Wally and BT. Wally on strike faces Addy, who strikes the ball powerfully again to mid off. A throw at the stumps, but safely home. Very much a, a dive there from the very young Bruce Wally, uh, but safely making his ground. And at the end of the 11th over, Pembroke have taken the score to 61 4 3. 10 runs coming off that uh, Adi Wankili over. change of bowling uh, here from the Franco Gade end. The new bowler, leg spinner, Brian Dunphy. Bowling now to Bruce Wally, who's 24 not out. William Beatty, 16 not out. Brian, one of our young prospects here at the club, bowls to Wally, clips the ball through cover point for a single. Leg spinning, Dunphy comes in again, bowls slow, run up, bowls a little bit short. Played on the leg side there by BT for a single. Dunphy certainly one of the uh, up and coming starlets on the Balbriggan. He's already in the Irish under 13 squads and I believe in an inter-squad game he scored a magnificent 100 amongst his Irish peers. Bowling again while he cuts the ball again through point. That's a glorious shot there for four runs. Wally looking very, very impressive. Like many small players, very powerful on the cut and the pull. Dunphy wearing 37, comes in, bowls. Wally short on the back foot again, through point, but the ball fielded there by Marcus. Slight misfield, but well backed up there by Hassan. Very difficult for a leg spinner to bowl in these conditions when the ball is a little bit damp. Dunphy taking his time to dry the ball. Get that grip and let the fingers give it a good rip. Comes in, bowls, full toss, smashed away there. But it's straight to square leg and uh, Hassan Shahid, who feels the ball comfortably there for a single. Dunphy in again, lovely bowl, big swipe there, swings himself off his feet there, young Bruce, looking to give that ball the full treatment, misses it and just swings himself over. So that's the end of the 12th over, and the score is 69 for three. Waiting up for it. Wiley taking himself there on to 30. Batsmen have to retire at 35.
Replacing Adi Wankidi from the Hugh Riley end is new bowler Tom Hartford. Right arm medium pace, Hartford comes in, bowls off the wrong foot, played defensively into the covers there by BT, no run. Pembroke innings now gathering very strong momentum. Wally has been very, very impressive this morning uh, with a full array of shots, as has BT, certainly the two danger men. Hartford comes in again, bowls down the leg side and it's signalled a wide by umpire Shankar. Harford in again, bowls driven through mid-wicket there by BT for just a single, well fielded there on the boundary by Barbrigan. Hartford, very powerfully built young man. Bowls again short while he tries to hook the ball to the shorter Hyde Park boundary, but just fails to make a connection. Certainly he feels he's missed out there on what could have been uh, an easy four. Very easy to say from the commentary box, of course. Harford in again, full, powerfully driven again by Wally, but straight to Adi there at mid on very wide mid on no run Hartford in full driven again through mid wicket but just a single well fielded there by Adi Wankidi there at wide mid on just for the single Hartford bowls short, pulled away there through square leg, the very short boundary there. That's four runs there for BT. Certainly full value for a short pitch delivery, last ball of the over. That completes the 13th over and the score is 76-4-3. Seven overs still remaining. So it's Dumphy again from the Franco Gilday end with the leg spin. Comes in, bowls. That's much better loop there. Played on the leg side by Wally. Straight out to deep mid wicket and well fielded there on the boundary for just a single. Dumphy full driven powerfully through wide mid on. Will it beat the fielder? No, it's well fielded there by Bannister uh, for just a single two BT. Dumphy in again. Well bold hits Wally on the thigh pad going to drive the ball off the back foot, but just fails to make a connection. No real appeal there, the ball going well down the leg side. Dumpfly quickly in again. Ball's a lovely delivery while he plays the ball beautifully through extra cover, but straight to a fielder there on the boundary for another single.
done for the bowls down the leg side pulled through square for just a single to bt certainly the pace now of the pembroke innings is gathering momentum runs being scored off almost every ball certainly putting balbridge balbrig and bowlers under a little bit of pressure here but still a long way to go dunphy to wally drives on the offside through extra cover but again just a single two fielders there patrolling the cover and extra cover boundary uh, but that's the end of the 14th over and the score now after 14 overs is 81 so bruce wally is now on 34 and the regulations of this competition is that it's 35 they have to retire or one scoring shot so he could go for 35 or if he smashes a six he could retire at 40. either way it's a fantastic effort from such a small young man really has impressed this morning with a vast array of shots both on and the on and the offside and more importantly all along the ground which is really great to see must be some very good coaches there down in Pembroke because he certainly does look a very class act for such a young age. New bowler coming in is Caelan Knight. Ball's full and straight, powerfully driven by Wally, who turns down a signal. Kalen left arm over, coming off his long run. Kalen coming into Wally, who I think is looking for the boundary shot. Ball's wide outside the off stump, slashes the ball through the air, through extra cover for four runs. That's a brilliant innings there by a young Bruce Wiley who retires on 38 runs. Absolutely fantastic innings there from such a young man. Very richly deserved, not out. And I'm sure he'll be welcomed by all the supporters around the ground with a tremendous round of applause. Richly deserved. Replacing Wiley is new batsman Ryan O'Neill. Wally there, soft camera, raises his bat and is greeted by his teammates, parents and supporters, neutral as well as the Pembroke players to really reward a fantastic innings. And he gets a big hug there from his mum. Brilliant, brilliant innings. Knight coming in now to O'Neill. Bowls wide, plays it on the offside, but no run. Perhaps if he left it, he might have actually got a wide and an extra delivery for that. Knight comes into bowl, left arm tucked away there on the leg side for just a single there by O'Neill. Knight in again, wide outside the off stump. Batsman left it thinking it would be a wide, but must have just been inside the uh, white markings there and not signalled by umpire Shankar. So a dot ball, much needed by Balbriggan at this stage. Knight into ball, short, wide, pulled through mid wicket there but straight to the fielder and no run. And that completes the end of the 15th over. Pembroke making very steady progress here. And the score is 86 for four off 
15 overs. So five overs to go, 86 runs on the board. Dunphy to continue from the Franco Gilday end. Pembroke now with five overs remaining in their innings. Dunphy comes into bowl. The sun is shining. Played on the leg side there by O'Neill for just a single backward of square fielded there by Hassan Shahid. Sun breaking through now at the Jack Harper Memorial. Certainly the ground with the sun out and the moisture drying off the outfield does look a picture. Dunphy full, smashed away through long on. Possibility of a catch, but just falls short of Bannister. Uh, deep mid on. Just a single. And it's been called a no ball. Ball over waist height there. So an extra delivery for Pembroke. Again, very difficult for Dunphy to be gripping this wet ball. Balls again wide outside the off stump. Played into the covers, but no run there from O'Neill. Dunphy in again. Nice loop on it. Possibility of it caught and bowled. No, just a little bit wide there. The ball looped up in the air, but just wide of Dunphy on a caught and bowled and just short of mid on for a single. Dunphy in again, short of a length, pulled through wide mid on there uh, by BT for again just a single. Dunphy into O'Neill, bowls full of length in the block hole, but nicely played out through mid-wicket there from O'Neill for a single. Very key for Balbriggan now to keep the ball on a length, on a good line to prevent the boundaries. Certainly when the outfield starts running, boundaries are absolutely crucial here at the Jack Harper. Bowls again, a big swipe there. Uh, from BT, but no run, and that's the end of the 16th over. After 16 overs, the score is 92 for four. Four overs remaining, and Balbriggan are bringing back the opening bowler, Jesse Marcus, who has two overs left, so I think he will finish uh, at this end. Pembroke now will be looking to accelerate using the pace uh, of Marcus. Very much a crucial stage now. A couple of quick strikes, and the ascendancy will be resting with Balbriggan. And likewise, a couple of quick boundaries and Pembroke will be marching towards that magical 120 runner ball. Marcus coming in to O'Neill. He bowls full, lovely defensive shot, pushed out into the covers there by O'Neill, but for no run. Marcus bowling left arm round, very much of the Wazi Makram death bowling stages. He bowls full, pushed away, lovely guided there through the offside. That's one, ball's falling short of the boundary, so a comfortable two there. Very nice guided offside shot there by O'Neill using the pace of the ball.
Marcus in again. Big leap short, pulled away on the leg side there for a boundary, just eluding the square leg fielder. So it was a magnificent four there from O'Neill. Very confidently rolling the wrists over that short ball, playing the ball all the way along the ground. Temptation with the short boundary is to go aerial, but it was great to see that just getting the wrists over that ball and the ball traveling safely and evading the fielders for four runs. Marcus in again, bowls full and straight at this time. Lovely defensive push there from O'Neill, straight to cover, but no run. Marcus running in a big leap in his delivery stride, bowls it straight. That's a much better delivery. No chance there for the batsman to get uh, any value from that shot. So a defensive push onto the onside and no run. Marcus in again, full and straight, tickled away on the leg side through square, but well picked up by Dunphy on the square leg boundary for a single. And at the end of the 17th over, the score is 99-4-4. Pembroke now looking for the last three overs to put on a bit of a charge. Balbriggan will be really calling on to their experienced younger fellows to bowl at the death. With a score on 99, William Beatty on 27. A couple of big blows, we'll see him retire, which will bring a new batsman to the crease. Dumphy into O'Neill, bowls. Bit of lift there outside the off stump. Very difficult to take there by the keeper, but a good stop there, no run. Dunphy bowls full, driven through, slightly backward a square leg uh, by O'Neill, and that brings up the 100 for Pembroke. That's 100 off 17.2 overs. 16 balls to go. Can they get that magical 120? BT now on strike, 27 runs to his name. I think he'll be looking to launch a few boundaries so that he will have to retire. Dunphy bowls. Big swipe there through mid-wicket. Absolutely gr brilliant shot there by BT4, boundary four. Dunphy be disappointed with a full toss there, but it's meat and drink there to the very powerful BT who moves on to 31. And the score on to 104. Dunphy bowling again. Played through mid-wicket there by BT for what will be just a single, taking him on to 32. Dunphy in again, short outside the off stump, but uh, beats Ryan O'Neill there. Ball's turning away from the bat slightly there. Very difficult shot to play with a bit of bounce from this tall fellow, Dunphy. In again, bowls short. And he's clean bowled him. O'Neill clean bowled there by Dunphy. New batsman number seven for Pembroke is Scott Kennedy. So after 18 overs, the 
Pembroke score is now 105-44. Big swing and a miss there with Marcus bowling, no run. Marcus bowling the 19th over from the Hugh Riley end. This will be his last over. Marcus comes in the bowl, swiped away there on the leg side for an easy single there. Told me by the way. That's a single there for Scott Kenny. Bringing apologies, a psych, uh, single there for uh, William Beatty, bringing the new batsman Scott Kenny on to strike. <coughs> Marcus. Into bowl, played outside on the offside. Back foot shot through the covers there for a single there to Kenny. That brings BT on to strike with 33 to his name. Marcus into bowl, full and straight, driven powerfully on the onside, but just a single as captain, as uh, Brian Dunphy there fields the ball for a single. Bringing Kennedy on strike. Good bowling here by Marcus, uh, bowling full and straight here at the depth, which is where we actually want to see the ball being bowled. Certainly width is not an option. Marcus bowls full and straight, beats Kenny quite easily there, no run. Very tight over this from Marcus. Can he finish off his over in style? Marcus bowls full and straight again. Open face there by Kenny. Down to the fine leg. Third man, apologies. And just a single. So that's the end of the 19th over. Pembroke now are 109 for five. One over remaining. And to bowl the final over is Hassan Hashid. Shahid. Uh, Hassan already taken three wickets this morning. Marcus having finished his spell with four overs, naught for 16. Hassan now looking to build on his three wickets early on when he opened the bowling. Comes in to bowl now to Kenny. Full and straight in the block hole, punched out on the offside for a single, taking the score on to 110 for five. This brings BT on strike. He'll be working out his calculations now to make sure he can maximize uh, his score so he doesn't retire on 34 and hopefully he can retire on 40. Hassan Shahid. Just takes his time, comes running in off that long run. Bowls short inside the off stump, smashed away, but it's caught at extra cover by Marcus. Absolutely great catch there. BT looking to get full value uh, and go for that maximum, but just didn't get a full connection and well taken on the extra cover boundary there by Marcus. That gives Shahid his fourth wicket. For Henry. That's very well batted there by Kennedy.
New batsman there, Luke Murray. What's he got? Four for. No, that's four for Hamilton. Next. Next. What's Hassan's figure? Hassan's figure. Hassan there, four wickets for 21 runs. Comes in now from the Franco Gilday end. We'll be looking for that magical Pfeiffer. Balls, full toss, no run there. <coughs> ah, it's been called a no ball for above waist height. So he'll have to deliver that one again. Baller judged to be over waist height there on the full toss. Hassan comes in, bowls, that's better, full, sh full and straight on the offside, straight to extra cover there, but well fielded on the boundary. Hassan in again, bowls short outside the off stump, pulled away there to mid wicket, looking for two runs. Hassan fields it, a good throw here, but it's not quite picked up quick enough. That's two runs <coughs> there to Pembroke. In fact, it's only one run as umpire Shaka calls one short. So only one run there. Two balls to go in the Pembroke innings. Score 113. 4 5. Hassan comes in to bowl. Full and straight. Punched in the offside there for a single. In fact, he's gone for four through the fielder's legs. Uh, very disappointed uh, with that. Perhaps if they used his hands there. But that's another four runs to Pembroke. Certainly much delight there in the Pembroke players. Getting very excited now. Runs at the death. Very, very crucial. So Hassan comes in for what could be the last ball of the innings. Can he collect his Pfeiffer? Can he bowl a dot ball and stop the runs? Comes into bowl, full and straight, beats the player, shy at the stumps from the keeper, and a brilliant strike there by Izzy McLean, who runs out the final, the Pembroke batsman off the last ball of the innings. Pembroke total 117, 4 6 after their 20 overs. 120, as predicted at the start, would be a very much respectable score. I think with the wet outfield early on in the morning, that total would be worth a lot, lot more should the outfield have been dry. So Pembroke uh, complete their innings with 117. 117. Balbriggan need 118 to chase. So that completes the end of the first innings. We'll be taking a short break and we'll be back with you as soon as the players go out for the Balbriggan reply.
I wasn't alive. <laughs> so welcome back to the Jack Harper. A few technical problems there with the first over. Uh, fantastic start from Barbrigan, 14 runs. Brian Dunphy uh, striking the ball magnificently, but unfortunately after only his fourth ball, he holed out two mid on for 12 runs. Very disappointed there. The bowler from Pembroke uh, coming in from the Hugh Riley end is Luke Murray. He'd be bowling to Adi Wankidi. Murray comes into bowl full. Wankidi pushes to the offside, no run. Balbriggan chasing the Pembroke total of 117 and now 14 for one after only one over. Murray comes in again to Addy, full and straight, and a defensive shot there by Addy. Very, very solid. I think these two batsmen will just need to rebuild for a couple of overs and make sure they don't lose any more early wickets. Certainly, Pembroke will be very much buoyed by the, uh, the wicket there of the danger man, Dunphy. Murray in again, short, Wankidi. Pushes it on the offside, straight to extra cover, no run. Murray comes in, right arm over, very smooth action, falling straight down the leg side, an appeal for court behind, but not given there. I think the bat just uh, brushed the artificial track there, making a little bit of noise to get the keeper excited. Umpire Shaka unmoved. So Murray off this long run, lovely smooth action. Ball's full and straight. Ball hit into the turf by Adi, and it's bounced there and for another boundary. That was a magnificent shot, just punched it into the artificial and the ball bounced full and straight all the way to the boundary over mid on short by Murray tempted pull there by Adi but it's been signalled wide by umpire Shaka Murray comes into bowl, but Addy pulls away there, not quite ready in his stance. So Murray has to return to the end of his long run up. Murray comes into bowl short. Addy pushes it through extra cover through the fielder's hands for what will be only a single, thinks about the second but wisely turns it down that brings Hassan would have been on to strike but of course it's the end of the over with Balbriggan 24-1 chasing Pembroke's 117 so a bit of a flyer here for Balbriggan but they have been held back by the loss of Dunphy in the first over but plenty of time to go for this very talented Balbriggan side to rebuild and continue the run chase. So Rafe Duncan coming in for his second over. Expensive in his first, but he did get the vital wicket there of Dunphy. Coming in, bowling to Addy. measured run up bowls pushes on the outside call for a quick single straight to the fielder but a slight misfield there and in the end this single was easily made that's good running between the wickets 
Rafe now having to switch around the wicket to bowl to Hassan. Very tall, elegant, left-handed batsman. Comes into bowl, nice flight. Hassan down the wicket, punches it through mid-off for just a single. Strike being rotated well as Rafe comes in to Addy. Bowls full of a length. Pops the ball up through mid-wicket, but for no run. Quite a bit of bounce there from uh, the short fella. Uh, very nice to see slow bowler opening the bowling. And certainly come back well from his early boundaries. Bowls again. Clipped away just through point there by Addy for a single. Again, quite a bit of uh, bounce there on the artificial, but another run to the total for Barbrigan. Shahid taking his time as Rafe comes in to bowl. Full of delivery. And that seems to have beaten everybody. I'm not quite sure if there was a little nick on that. <coughs> oh, and he's, Hassan turns back a run there. And it's a bye, so that ball beat everybody there. Wasn't quite sure if there was a slight uh, nick on that one. But the ball was too good for bat and keeper. So Rafe coming in to Addy. He bowls, nice loop. Addy comes forward, hits the ball airily over mid on, but the fielder is set deep. And again, just a single. And that completes the end of the third over with a score on 25-4-1. Very good start for Balbriggan with the first three balls of the uh, run chase being struck very powerfully for boundaries. But the run's slowing down a little bit as the new batsmen play themselves in and look to set out their stall for perhaps a longer innings in a more traditional style. So it's Murray in again to Addy, full and straight in the block hole, dug out there and played straight back to the bowler, no run. Very smooth action here from Luke Murray as he runs in again. Down the leg side, slight fumble by the keeper and the batsman cross for a single. And that's been signalled by umpire Shankar as a bye. Hassan Shahid takes his guard for his first delivery from this end. Murray again runs in over round the wicket this time. Hassan plays it airily through point. Fielded there a little for just a single. No boundary. Great effort uh, there at third man by young Bruce Wiley. Murray in again, short, that's a bouncer, and that's also a wide. He'll be disappointed with his control on that delivery.
Murray in again. That's an aerial ball down the leg side, but Addy has missed out there on the possibility of four runs. Certainly very reachable there and a full toss with the short boundary to the uh, Hyde Park football field. One that got away, I think. Murray in again, short outside, and that's caught and bowled. Adi Wankidi punched the ball off the back foot, but it was straight to Murray, who took it very, very cleanly. In the end, a very easy catch. That's two of the Balbriggan uh, top order gone now. Uh, and with the score on 28 for two. A lot of runs very, very quickly for Balbriggan, but Pembroke have got two very vital early wickets on the top order. New batsman coming in is Jesse Marcus. The extra pace there of Murray paying dividends as he gets his first wicket of the innings. In again, Marcus leaves it there outside the off stump, looking for a wide, but not given there by umpire Shankar. Balbriggan, 28 for two, at the end of the fourth over. With the loss of those two early wickets, it's very much an open game now. Uh, I really can't call it at this stage. Uh, Pembroke have got a very good bowling attack. Balbriggan also a very good batting lineup. But at the moment, two early wickets could provide, could be very, very crucial uh, to the run chase. A long way to go, 16 overs. Rafe Duncan still continuing here from the Franco Gilday end in his third over. Has come back very, very well from the onslaught of his first three balls, and that's credit to him. Always like to see a spinner come back after being struck for boundaries. Comes in to Hassan, full length, driven through the offside for an easy single. Right-handed Jesse Marcus taking strike for his first ball from this end. Duncan comes in over the wicket. Nice loop. Marcus leaves it outside the off stump for no run. Duncan in again. Lovely loop. Short outside the off stump. Played and missed there by Marcus. Nice to see a young off spinner not afraid to give the ball some flight. And it's certainly paid dividends as he's really come back and pulled his spell back really, really well. Balls again, short. Outside the off stump, Marcus plays and misses as the ball bounces over the top of off. Quickly into his stride again, Duncan, a little bit flatter, punched away there, pulled away through mid-wicket, but straight to the Pembroke fielder for only a single. Left-handed Hassan now on strike. Balls full and straight, it punched through the offside, aerially there, beats the infield, but there is a man sweeping on the boundary, and again, only a single there to Hassan. And that completes the end of the fifth over, with Balbriggan 31-4-2.
So Murray coming in for his third over. Just making a few adjustments to the field. Hassan Shahid taking strike. Plays it way on the offside, but straight to a fielder there at cover point for no run. Murray bowls full, beats Hassan outside the off stump. A great delivery there, but again, no run scored. Hassan being quite watchful at the moment, doing the right thing in rebuilding this innings after the loss of two early wickets. It has the comfort of a few runs on the board, and it really is showing a bit of experience here. Bowles push it on the outside, on the offside for an easy single. Murray comes in again, short, down the leg side, but for no run. Bowles punched away in the two cover point, thinks about a quick single. Marcus is sent back there by Hassan, no run. Murray comes in again to bowl to Marcus. Full. Marcus pushes it through the offside, just square of cover point for, again, another easy single. So that completes the end of the six over. With Balbriggan on 33 for two. So continuing from the Franco Gildayan, Rafe Duncan, who will be bowling his fourth and final over. And he's bowling to Jesse Marcus. Lovely smooth action here by Duncan. Marcus plays it on the offside, but there is a sweeper there on the boundary. So again, only a single. Balbrig and run rate is now dropped to five runs and over on par with Pembroke at this stage, so it's very much anybody's game here at the moment. Duncan comes in again to Hassan. Full toss, wide outside the off stump. Hassan misses it, but umpire Mackey calls it wide. Extra run to the total. Rafe in again, short, pulled away there by Hassan to square leg, but again, only a single fielder well placed there at square leg boundary. Marcus on strike, full ball, clips it through mid wicket. There is a fielder out there who comfortably takes it. They come back for second. Hassan ooh, collides there with Duncan there, but a good judged two runs well run there by both players. Duncan in again, lovely length, short, but a little bit of bounce and pushed again to the extra cover boundary for only a single.
left-handed Hassan Hashid. Drives it, clips it through mid-wicket, but straight to the fielder there, no run. Duncan in again, short. Hassan punches it off the back foot, through mid-on, and again, an easy single. Hassan Shahid content to be ticking away there with singles waiting for the really bad ball but this is a good reply here the two batsmen playing very very sensibly to steady the innings Balbriggan's score is 40 for two off seven overs Need to change, a, a change your bowler. New bowler. And a change of bowling uh, from the top end. New bowler is William Beatty. Beatty will be bowling to Hassan. Beatty, of course, a very powerful 30 in uh, while he was batting so he comes in to bowl full and straight to Hassan pushes it out there through extra cover it's through the field there and he's hit that powerfully and it's gone all the way for four lovely shot by Hassan there through the cover region fielder we disappointed but it's four runs to the Balbrig in total taking them to 44 for two in the eighth over BT in again, short. Hassan pays defensively on the onside, straight to the fielder at short mid wicket. No run. BT in again, short. Pulled away, he's got an edge. He's come off his glove. Or has it? Batsman indicates it came off his thigh. Umpire Shankar not interested at all in a decision. Clearly came off the thigh and not out is the call. BT in again, very tall, full strength. Hassan just plays it out to cover point. Very strong young man, this William Beatty. He struck the ball very, very powerfully with his batting and certainly looks the real deal when he comes in to bowl. Certainly a good bit of pace for such a young age. Bowling again, Hassan down the leg side. No contact and no run. BT in again, short. Hassan pulls it away through mid-wicket. Fielder out there, he makes a stop. And that's a great bit of fielding there by the Pembroke player for just a single there to Hassan. Certainly Pembroke are making it very, very difficult for the Balbriggan batsmen. Their fielding is very, very high standard this afternoon. And at the end of eight overs, Balgobrigan are 45 4 2. New bowler, new bowler. What's the bowler's name here, Joe? Easy fair. And replacing Rafe Duncan at the Franco Gilde end is Ethan Clark.
Clark, short, wide down the leg side and has been called by umpire Martin Mackey. Pembroke sticking with slow bowling at the Franco Gilday end and pace bowling there at the Hugh Riley end. Bowls again short down the leg side. Hassan clips it away through backward square. Again, just a single. Ethan Clark in again. Bowls, nice loop there. Marcus punched it on the back foot. Two point for again, another easy single. That's good running by the Barbaregan batsman. Clark coming round the wicket to the left hand into San. Short on the leg side, punched away there. Thinks about a single. Turned back there by his partner, Marcus. No run. Clark runs in short. I saw the off stump. Sam punches it. Thinks about a single. If it's a direct hit, he's struggling. Oh, that would have been almost certainly out if the hit had been direct. But one to the total for Balbriggan. Maybe a bit of nerves creeping in here. Not quite sure if there really was a run there. And if he had hit the wickets, he would have been out by a good four yards. Marcus pulls it on the back foot through mid wicket. Straight to the fielder. Thinking about a second. A good throw. Oh, Hassan just makes his ground. Two runs there to Marcus, but again, a good throw and Hassan might have been struggling there. Clark over the wicket to Marcus. Short outside the off stump and that's a wide. Just pitched on the edge of the artificial. So a wide is the signal. Clark round the wicket to the left-handed Hassan. Bowls. Hassan on the back foot looks for a big punch but misses it and it's a dot ball. And that concludes the ninth over with Balbriggan on 53-4-2. So coming in for his second uh, over, is William Beatty. Barbara again, 53 for two, off nine, almost at the halfway stage and almost at the halfway total. So this game really is very, very open and could still go either way. BT into Marcus Short, he pulls it there and that's a magnificent six. Maximo there from Jesse Marcus, pulls it over square leg, over the fielder and rattles into the railings on the Hyde Park pitch. Balbriggan will be delighted with those runs, taking the score now to 59. That's a bit of a release there in the Balbriggan chase. Marcus facing Beatty again. Bowls fuller. Marcus leaves the ball quite tastefully outside the off stump with a little bit of panache. BT in again, short, Marcus plays it on the back foot through the offside, it's what passed mid off, will the ball run away for four, indeed it does, that's 10 runs off the over, vital runs for Balbriggan and 10 runs off the over for Marcus who's really starting to strike the ball quite sweetly now. <coughs> B 
BT in again. Can he come back after that boundary short? Marcus leaves it outside the off stump. A big appeal there from all the Pembroke players. Umpire Shankar unmoved.